Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janard Show, the tech show about hacking. And supposedly, reportedly, there was a security catastrophe, a cybersecurity catastrophe that has taken place because they are trying to put the iMessage app on Android so Android users can experience the luxury of Apple. <laughs> So um, I'm going to break down what that was in this story. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You know we're going dark. It turns out companies that stonewall the media security questions actually aren't good at security. Last Tuesday, Nothing Chats, a chat app from Android manufacturer Nothing and upstart app company Sunbird, brazenly claimed to be able to hack into Apple's iMessage protocol and give Android users blue bubbles. We immediately flagged Sunbird, Sunbird as a company that had been taking, uh, sorry, been making empty promises for almost a year and seemed negligent about security. The app launched Friday anyway and was immediately ripped to shreds by the internet for many security issues. It didn't last 24 hours. Nothing pulled the app from the Play Store Saturday morning. The Sunbird app, which Nothing Chat is just a reskin of, has also been put on pause. The initial sales pitch for this app that it would log you into iMessage on Android if you handed over your Apple username and password was a huge security red flag that meant Sunbird would need an ultra secure infrastructure to avoid disaster. Instead, the app turned out to be about as unsecure as we expected. And here's the statement. <laughs> You'll see it, right? How bad are the security issues? Both 9to5Google and Text.com, which is owned by Automatic, the company behind WordPress, uncovered shockingly bad security practices. Not only was the app not end-to-end -end encrypted, as claimed numerous times by Nothing and Sunbird, but Sunbird actually logged and stored messages in plain text on both the error reporting software sentry and in a firebase store authentication tokens were sent over unencrypted http so this token could be intercepted and used to read your messages the text.com investigation uncovered a pile of vulnerabilities the blog says when a message or an attachment is received by a user they are unencrypted on the server side until the client sends a request acknowledging the deleting them from the uh, database, right? This means that an attacker subscribed to the Firebase real-time DB will always be able to access the messages before or at the moment they are read by the user. Text.com was able to intercept an authentication token sent over unencrypted HTTP and subscribe to changes occurring to the database. This meant live updates of messages in and out, account changes, etc. Not just from themselves, but other users too. Text.com released a proof of concept app that could fetch your supposedly end-to-end -end encrypted messages from Sunbird servers. Uh, Batahoon, a, pro a product engineer for Text.com, also released a tool that will delete some of your data from Sunbird servers. Uh, it he also recommends any Sunbird slash nothing chat users change their Apple password now revoked Sunbird session and assume your data is already compromised. 9 to 5 Google's Dylan Rosul, sorry if I botched the name, sir, investigated the app and found that in addition to all of the public text data, all of the documents, which is the iMessages, the videos, the audios, PDFs, V cards, etc., sent through Nothing Chat and Sunbird are public. Uh, he also found that 630,000 media files are currently stored by Sunbird and apparently he could access some. Sunbird's app suggested that users transfer V cards, virtual business cards full of contact data, and Russell says the personal information of 2,300 plus users is, is accessible. Russell calls the whole fiasco probably the biggest privacy nightmare I've seen by a phone manufacturer in years. Despite being the cause of this huge catastrophe, Sunbird has been bizarrely quiet during this whole mess. The app's X, formerly Twitter, page still doesn't say anything about the shutdown of Nothing's Chats or Sunbird. Maybe that's for the best because some of the Sunbird's early responses to the 
security concerns raised on Friday do not seem like they came from a competent developer. At first, the, company's def uh, def the company defended its use of unencrypted HTTP for some web transactions, telling text.com of uh, Bulgaria that the HTTP is only used as part of the one-off initial request from the app notifying backend of the upcoming iMessage connection iteration that will follow via a standalone communication channel. From the start, Sunbird has been focused on security. The text.com investigation clarified this was a load balance express server which does not implement SSL, so requests can be easily intercepted by an attacker. The, this usage of HTTP allowed text.com to intercept authentication tokens. Modern security best practices would say it is never okay to use unencrypted HTTP for any internet transaction and many platforms outright block plain text, HTTP transmission by default. Chrome shows a full page warning when trying to access an HTTP page and requires the user to click through a warning message. Android disables clear text traffic by default and needs a developer to turn on a special flag for the request to go through. Projects like Let's uh, Encrypt, Encrypt have not only made HTTPS usage easy and free, but it's actually easier to encrypt everything because you don't have to deal with all of the security roadblocks. These are the basics of 2023 internet usage and seeing any developer argue against them is shocking, especially when that developer also wants to be trusted with your Apple account. It would be one thing if this was some kind of horrible mistake, but Sunbird thought this was okay. Nothing has always seemed like an Android manufacturer that was more hyped than Substance, but we can now add negligent to that list. The company latched on the Sunbird, reskinned its app, created a promo website and YouTube video, and coordinated a media or a media release, sorry, with popular YouTubers all without doing the slightest bit of due diligence on Sunbird's apps or its security claims. It's <laughs> it's un unbelievable that these two companies made it this far. The launch of Nothing Chats required a systematic security failure across two entire companies. Nothing claims the app will be back once it and Sunburb work to fix several bugs. When your whole app was built with seemingly no concern for security, I do not see how you can just patch that up in a week or two. If Nothing Chats make it back, to the Play Store, will anyone still trust it enough to enter their credentials? Now that is crazy. What do you think about this story? About this bombshell, this this cybersecurity catastrophe? Please let me know in the comment section below. Should 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 you know? And this should this be a lesson that Android is just too poor for Apple users? Let me know in the comment section below too. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I appreciate your viewership. Please share the content and see you on the next video.